Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome Ooh. to part... Shut yeah, up, Avaro! God damn it, I'm talking! Part 106 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. Alright, so... All of my characters are at least level 30, so let's pull out... Level 30s, with the goal of getting them to level 31. I'm going to start using my... Oh, what was it called? My Malwin ring, that's right. Oh, a large healing potion. Now the unfortunate thing about the summons is they can't equip the Malvin Ring. That makes me sad, you have no idea. Hmm. Now in my trial run, I learned that this is a fairly straightforward, quick level. For all the fact that there's a twist in the middle of it. Hmm. Ma, ma, ma. Oh boy. Weaknesses. Oh, she has something lightning elemental, doesn't she? Sweet. G I hate the reflex skill so much. Now this guy had better not park on that feather for the rest of the map. I'll be so pissed. Ah uh, yeah, regular stuff. Yorin, punch this guy until he falls down. Mm, not so effective. Perhaps too effective. No, just about right. Ice. Oh, this is perfect. Eola has a nice sword. That's ice sword, not nice sword. An ice sword. Well, you know how it goes. Ah, oh, this is going good. well. You know what, I'm going to pull out Deed Helm. I don't need him for experience. But I am going to want him for mining and fixing things up in this north area. Oh, you... Ugh. Fine, I can deal with this. Oh, a greater demon. Fighting Avaro... He's actually a bit outclassed here. Not really outclassed on account of how much HP he has, but a bit outclassed. Okay. Mikshana should easily be able to capture that guy next turn. Oh, well, Havaro could do. Yep, capture time. Oh, 
Wow, that's a lot of HP. I mean, XP. Yeah, I'm deploying level 30 guys against level 33 enemies. No wonder. Hmm. All right, here we go. I can't capture her with the model in ring, but... Well, when you're talking about extra stat points, who needs captures? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Maybe I should try it once without and once after to see what happens. Oh hell, this is like, what? Oh, the hell with that. Come on, you're three levels over me, shouldn't you be? You know, giving me tons of experience? Hey, has anybody seen this before? I sure haven't. That's pretty ugly. <laughs> Yorin is hilarious. More ore. That's actually good because I can't buy ore from Deethelm here. His stupid shop won't sell it. Oh, surprise, a greater demon. Oh, let's look at him too. Yeah, it's a demon and it's great. Err. Or something. Now I'm used to trying to avoid those eating characters, but this time I'll just let it do what it likes. Now Mikshuan is an angel and Thank you for your interesting contribution to our commentary. <sighs> So anyway, I could equip her with her regular awesome ass holy sword. And while it, their normal attack is a physical one and she's not too danger endangered by that, it also has a ranged attack which is darkness and she's weak against so I'm not going to put her up in front this turn. Yeah, this is why I wanted to avoid fighting this guy. But, Eel has tons of evasion, so probably she won't get hit more than once. Or maybe she won't get hit at all, that's okay too. Alright, Aparo, you have a holy weapon too. Oh, ow. Okay, new rule. She isn't going to be attacking that thing from two, uh, two steps out. This should work well. Now maybe I should have had Katarito. Yeah, take backs. I'm going to have Katarito, who should have gotten a level up. You know what, forget take backs. That's right, the Trent Maiden didn't actually give her a level up. So unfair. So now, it should be weak enough for Katarito to kill it. It still hits hard though. Anyway. That isn't good enough for her to kill it. Let's see what kind of elemental bonuses I can get. Holy or at least wool. Ice. Ice. Sounds good. Now that mall winning. 
Yep, 19 times 2 times 3. She's gonna need healing first, though. Yep, but I don't have a healer nearby, so... Woohoo! Attack, attack, speed, block. Let's see, demons. What is this? Steel, iron, forged, whatever. Arm. Sounds like a weapon. Oh, geez, this can't be good. Uh, let's look at our, what we found first. There it is. It's another fist type weapon. This one's darkness elemental. Go in by the description. Looks like it's cursed. So I'm not going to be equipping it now and hell, maybe not ever. But it's there if I need it. Anyway, we're following Guy Lel into these ruins and continuing on. But we never actually see him come out and we're just being drawn through an endless series of nothing. With enemies, of course. So even if we defeat the enemies that start coming out, there's no change to the situation. Everything that comes into our field of vision within these ruins is just enemies and these stupid carved symbols and shit. Oh, and a bunch of doors. So which way should we go? A multiple door problem, huh? Well, we don't know what the right way is, so let's think a bit. Everybody nods their assent, and... Fia's reaction is a bit different. A bit slower. So what she's looking at is... the various symbols that are carved into the ruins here and there. She's kind of drawn to their magic reactions and such. So this has knowledge and records preserved in it. Oh yeah, that was one of the things Guy Dahl said they did here. So at the moment there aren't any enemies, so we relax just a bit. And she herself has got these thoughts she can't resist. And... So she's thinking if she just touches this thing, her memories might come back. Ooh, let's see. So, she puts a bit of strong magic into her and touches one of them. <laughs> you idiot. So Alvaro tried to stop her, but he was too late. She got zapped. Some kind of electrical pulse. And thanks to this, she gives out at the knees. Oh, Fia. What? And almost as if they were waiting for it. From out of somewhere. Some flying demons came in and made off with Fia. Oh man, they tricked us. That's what they've been planning this whole time. So, hearing us say this, we hear a familiar voice. Haha, <laughs> looks like you fell for it. Splendidly. Alright, Guy Bell is going to help himself to this goddess. Thanks for bringing along with her. Good work, ha ha ha. What an ass. Okay, Fia's been kidnapped by Guy Doll. And now we're 
dealing with these mini doors about us and they're all starting to close at the same time. Well, it seems like this was his goal the entire time in drawing us into these stupid ruins. So before these doors get completely closed, we need to figure out a way to get in through them. But enemies are starting to come out all of a sudden. <laughs> so now that they've accomplished their aim, well, the first part of their aim at least, the enemies start coming out and they're all laughing at us and shit. All right, don't worry too much about the ad about the enemies. If we do, we're falling into Gaidal's plans. Just hurry up and get through. Oh, but there are several paths to take, and we don't know which one Fia will be found down. Furthermore, they're already starting to close, so we don't have much time to think. Alright, no time to take our time and consider. Let's quickly make our decisions and run. Alright, let's split up. We need to get to Fia before something happens. So if she if Gaidal has taken the time to kidnap her in particular, he must have some kind of plan to perhaps take Fia along with the castle all at once fell swoop. So let's go. Don't waste too much time fighting, just hurry forward. Ah, oh, we lost Fia. No more Fia in our party. You know, I noticed during my trial run that one of the conditions was one of the lost conditions was Avaro's falling in battle. And now we know why. Because our new goal is to get Avaro to this event before we run out of time. And by run out of time, I mean we have 15 turns from right now. But we should be able to do it. Hey look, something for Deet to fix. And we're not going to have Avaro stop and do it because, you know, 15 turns. He doesn't have much time to waste. Now here's another one of those musket men. And if I draw too many people into this room here, he's going to fire off his area of effect attack. You would not believe the evil thing he did during my trial run. This is so evil, it is, it's unbelievably evil, that's what it is. He fired off that area of effect attack and killed off one of his allies. I mean, he killed off my loot and my experience. How evil is that? Hmm. But I'm kind of short on options. Well, let's march Rudin in there. Uh, hmm. You know what, on second thought, I'll just do a range to deck. Oh man. Since I marched Eel in already, if I bring anyone else in, the, it'll be the ranged attack for us. Well, risk not, want not, right? No, that, that's a different saying entirely. Waste not, want not. That doesn't apply at all. Jeez. It's on the way. Alright, holy sword. Ha <laughs> ha! A darkness that's enemy trying to attack Eel. Hmm. Well, no level up yet, so we don't need to worry about the ring. Man, you are hurt. 
Hey, no, you're not. I just know that bastard is going to use his area of effect attack. Great. Well, not great. I don't have time for this. Jeez. Heal has... Um, Deathelm has the defense for it, though. Oh, man. Um. Oh, yeah, that thing. Wait. Wait. Oh, no. That other enemy's down there. I thought for a sec he killed one of my bundles of loot and experience again. Huh. Fair damage to heal, but the other two are pretty much unharmed. Yorin, I have a job for you. It involves punching a guy until he's dead. Yeah, Rudin doesn't do enough damage that I'd need to worry about this much. Hmm. More than I expected. <laughs> Remove skill. Alright. Back at it, Eel. Ugh. Enough of you! You are this close to being dead! Haha. -ha. <laughs> Massive elemental resistances, so forget about that. Or that. No physical resistance. Man, of all really does have some earth resistance, doesn't he? Do you have a lightning sword? You need a. That's right. We used to have lightning swords, but we had to run it through its crafting tree, and now it's an earth sword. Hmm. Well, it's Eel. She'll be fine. Oh, great determination. Ouch. Uh, but he'll be able to get this guy captured with only one hit taken. Sure, I can pay with that. Oh, that's right. Determination. That was a bad idea. Mithril medium armor. No, oh, she's still wearing the Malwin ring, isn't she? Oh, ouch, this guy hurts. Ha 
行動開始だ Let's see if I can't get Eel over there to kill that guy. Alright, enough m a l l rendering for you. This time it's on Eel. Wait, I messed that up. Bonk. Got that. But I have the item. It should be better than this. My disappointment is palpable. That should clear out most of our enemies. No,、oh, geez, you're hurt. Well. Yorin, it's time for you to punch this guy. I can't believe it's taking you this long. Skyrim, what about? Zamiel grieves. Okay, they're heavy boots, and Zamiel sounds like an angel kind of thing. But whatever it is. Hmm. Yeah. Smack him around some more. We still got this enemy that's just hanging around back there. Alright, large fatigue potion. Ah.、Uh. It would probably be best not to have k a t o r i t o Alright, get a critical hit. Or a multi hit or something. Come on, I'm tired of looking at him. Hmm. Okay. Broken twin shields. Have I ever gotten any broken twin shields? Uh, no, I need to capture you, so we're not going to be doing that. Okay, let's take a look. Rotten bow. Okay, so Eel will be effectively invincible against this guy because it doesn't have any effective attacks. Wait, I was running her back to the healing point, wasn't I? You know, Yorin, you're already level 31, so you're going to hang out while Rurin comes in and finishes that guy off. Alright, holy wrench. That's a lot of damage. Oh. And the undead killer. Effect of that holy wrench went off. Okay, okay, look, Yorin, I know I told you to punch this guy until he died. But I'm making a special exception. Just hold, your back, hold yourself back a couple of times. Oh. Avaro's right on top of a level up. Here we go. I'm expecting big numbers here. Ah, bite me. That was fair. As far as level ups go.
so we're about done now. Just kill that one last enemy. With Rurin, of course. And see if I would have any mining or gathering to attend to. Not much, really. You just wait patiently. And thanks for everything you, you're done here. Hmm. An item? Huh? Oh, holy shards. Skyrim Come on, give it up. Alright, you'll grab this thing. Oh, it's a sale item. Fender trash, it's garbage. Rudin will capture this guy. Ha, ah, level 30. 31. Hey, it's a broken crossbow. My first broken crossbow. How nice. Alright, that's 100% coverage and all of my gathering points, so. We actually have another five five turns before we would get the game over. But let's see. Well, the short version is is the map's going to end and then I'm going to save and quit. Alright, so everybody's made it through. No time to organize. Let's continue. If we waste too long, something may happen to Fia. So, first things first, get to Gaidal and stop him. Awesomeness. Hmm. Hey, true pearl stones. Six of them. That's good, that's good. I didn't get any of my trial run. So it um, must be pretty random. Anyway. As promised, I'm saving and quitting. So, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.